So this past weekend, I uh, did a series of tweets, really just two tweets about uh, connected to the Lincoln Project. The Lincoln Project is the group of the never Trump Republicans who um, are all the rave in Democratic circles now because they um, they do commercials, anti-Trump commercials, and they're pretty good commercials. Um, literally no reason whatsoever that Democrats can't come up with the same as that content, except the Democrats have the wrong consultants. Uh, the Lincoln project is good but they're not that good check out really american i know the guys over there and then they're actual progressives but i digress i i wanted to focus on this weekend just two tweets on um on how i saw what's coming coming a mile away um and how there was going to come a point where people like the republicans in the lincoln project would have more influence and more power in the Democratic Party than people like AOC. And that's the Democratic Party proper. I mean, that infrastructure, that 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 party system that is only giving her 60 seconds to speak versus John Kasich, who got like four minutes to speak. Right. Um, they would the, the, that party, the DNC would would capitulate to people like John Kasich. Because that's the type of people that they have wanted in their party ever since the 1980s. I called it. And a lot of neoliberals are like, oh, no, you don't. You know, oh my God, you don't know politics. <laughs> I wish the podcasters could see my face. I want to pull up a couple of uh, I want to pull up a an article from Rahm Emanuel who was uh, Barack Obama's chief of staff. He was also the mayor of Chicago for some time. And he is a very powerful and very influential Democrat, despite the fact that he's a slime ball. Uh, and this is what he said in the Wall Street Journal opinion. He said, Biden Republicans don't turn back. Reagan Democrats found a permanent home in the GOP after 1980. The tables may now turn at last. Oh, what we want more than anything else or Biden Republicans. And this is what he said. This is a key, the key uh, paragraph. He said, the issue isn't whether college educated suburban voters will help us beat Mr. Trump. They will. The challenge is to get them to stick with us beyond 2020. We don't want these voters simply to rent the Democratic Party to remove Mr. Trump from the Oval Office. We want them to buy into our agenda so that they fuel legislative victories through the next decade on our core issues. To enact our agenda, we'll need a coalition broad enough to withstand the electoral blow blowback that inevitably comes from leading big reforms. To do that, we need these voters to stay blue even in the lean years. Did I call it or did I call it? I've been saying it. I've been saying it. I give a shout out to whoever knows what movie that's from. Uh, put it in the comment section. So um, let's be real about what this means. This literally means that they are going to be willing to go to the right in order to pacify these Republicans because that's what they've been doing, number one. But number two, that's all they know how to do. They have been consistently moving to the right since the 1980s to try to go back and capture that coveted uh, block of Reagan Democrats. And this is how America has gotten to the place where it is right now, where taxes are so low that Jeff Bezos doesn't even pay them. Taxes on millionaires and corporations, whereas I pay a monthly bill every single month to the IRS, Right. Um, this is what this is. This is the natural byproduct of democratic capitulations. And you can see this coming a mile away. They always capitulate to the Republican Party. And so this is not to say that they're broad reforms like they, they speak in this this jargon that suggests that they actually want to do something when at the end of the day, they just want to tweak a button. And when they tweak that one button on the entire system, the Republican Party does act like it's complete and total anarchy and socialism. And this is the nature of our two party system right now. And there's so much more that I want to discuss. Patrons, patreon.com forward slash the BPD show to get the full show. Everyone else, um, thank you so much for being a beautiful audience. I'll see you next time.